What is in your medication? Pills and capsules contain not only the active drug, but also a cocktail of other inactive ingredients. These ingredients are not intended to have a therapeutic effect, but are an important part of oral medications that are added to aid with drug stability, taste, appearance, and tamper resistance. In this research study, we analyzed thousands of pills and capsules. We found that, on average, only 29% of the weight of a pill or capsule corresponds to the active drug, while the remaining 71% is comprised of these inactive ingredients. We found that the average capsule or pill contains more than eight different inactive ingredients, and in some cases, up to 35 different inactive ingredients can be included in a single medication. There are more than 1,000 different inactive ingredients that can be currently included in pills. These ingredients usually undergo toxicity analysis and have a long history of not causing significant side effects in most patients. However, there are case reports in the medical literature of at least 38 inactive ingredients causing allergic symptoms in sensitive patients. Shockingly, almost all currently available pills and capsules contain at least one of these 38 critical ingredients. Patients with these rare allergies could be inadvertently exposed to medications with these inactive ingredients that trigger adverse reactions. If their allergies are incorrectly attributed to the therapeutic ingredient, patients may stop taking their medications, or clinicians may switch to another therapy that could be more expensive or less beneficial for the patient. Known allergies to inactive ingredients can also prevent therapeutic opportunities. For example, most progesterone formulations in more than half of valproic acid capsules contain peanut oil as a solubilizer, rendering them unavailable to patients with peanut allergies. Inactive ingredients can also cause mild but unpleasant reactions, which are much more common and may interfere with patient comfort and medication compliance. For example, certain sugars added to capsules and pills can contribute to bloating, belly pain, and diarrhea in patients suffering from irritable bowel syndrome. These sugars are present in more than half of all pills and capsules. 75% of the world population is lactose intolerant, but nevertheless, small amounts of lactose are included in nearly half of available medications. While the amounts are generally too small to cause discomfort in most patients, those with a higher sensitivity to lactose can develop symptoms from medication intake. These quantities can quickly add up in patients taking multiple medications and potentially having an impact even in those less sensitive to lactose. For example, a patient suffering from hypertension and high cholesterol may be on a regimen of amlodipine, simvastatin, and losartan with a combined load of lactose close to one gram which equals the amount of lactose in a shot glass of milk. Increasing awareness and data availability on the inactive ingredient content in pills and capsules could offer benefits to patients. Pharmaceutical companies could avoid such ingredients and clinicians would have the opportunity to recommend therapies that consider both the therapeutic and the inactive portion of a medication, leading to safer treatments with fewer complications.